Well, once again, you can tug the hand and the bottleneck this time. My friend Johnny Bishop asked me about this muddy water stuff, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Got the capo on, the first fret there. Got my old Gibson Les Paul Deluxe. And here we go, it's some muddy water stuff right now in the key of F. And that would be the intro. And here's how it goes. The thing, the thing, I'm going to show you how it goes, but the thing to remember about it, um, Playing bottleneck is the bottleneck supposed to be over the wire, right over the fret wire. It's easy to hear it than to actually look down and see if you right over that fret wire. But if you're playing an F note without a bottleneck, that's your F note right there. If you're playing it with the bottleneck, the bottleneck's supposed to be right over the fret. It's easy to hear it than it is to look at it, believe me. So anyway, here's the, here's the intro. Here it is, uh, here's what I'm doing, finger-wise, it's just... Actually, that part happens over here. I mean, you should be able to figure it out, you're hearing it, you're seeing it, here's how it goes again. Waters does this little chord here, which is basically a seventh chord. This would be an F chord right here. One finger there, one finger there, one finger over there. That'd be an F major. Here's an F dominant seven. One finger. Throw that dominant seven down there, then throw that other finger on. See if we took away the capo and you got a D chord here one like that, that would be your D7th chord. So it's the same thing with the F chord. Here's your F chord, here's your F7th chord. Enough of that. Now the Muddy Water solo is pretty simple. It's just basically this. like this. Which is basically... There you go with the muddy waters thing. 